be a little bit more um, difficult in that regard. So um, on this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I was trying to explain to you guys over there was by what we call applying the product to pow power to product rule. And basically what that means is, you guys remember when we had powers, we're multiplying them, we add them, right? When we have a power or we have an exponent raised to a power, we multiply the powers. In this example, we have multiple exponents raised to a power. So we need to make sure we apply that power to every single one of those exponents. So basically, it's 16 to the 1 half, x to the 6 to the 1 half, and y to the negative fourth to the 1 half power. Now I have three different examples of exponents raised to another power. So remember, we just rewrite them, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, 16 to the 1 half, I can't multiply that. However, this does not say, remember, what we can do is we can go back to what we learned at the beginning. How could I rewrite this as a radical expression? 2 to the 16 to the first power, which is the same thing as just the square root of 16. And what's the square root of 16? Then this becomes x to the 6 over 2, which is equal to x cubed. Okay. That means 16 to the 1 half power. It's 16 raised to the 1 half power, which means we have to rewrite it as a radical. And then over here, this becomes y to the negative 4 over 2 which is y to the negative second, which again, we went over. What do we do when we have negative powers? In the numerator, we now have to write them in the denominator. So this would be 1 over y squared. So your final answer is 4x cubed over y squared. Okay.